Hey guys, it's Miss Martin. So here's our last day of reviewing by standard. This lesson should be pretty quick. So if you have any leftover work from yesterday, I know sometimes writing equations is hard for us. And if we need more practice with that, you can use some time today to do that. So but today we're going to work on standard 7RP2D, which is specifically about describing points in context of a graph. And that also is specifically the point 0, 0 and the point 1 comma K, where K is the unit rate or the constant in proportionality. Um, but we need to be able to describe any point on the graph, but specifically we need to also do those. So our objective today is to have all the skills needed to do those stan that standard. So our DIN review question is what point or on the graph represents the unit rate? So take a minute, draw and label the point that represents the unit rate. OK, so we should be remembering that unit rate is for one. So we're going to do when X is one is the unit rate. It's this point right here. My pen is freaking out. As has been the case for most of today. So that point right here, it's one comma 15. And then our next question says, what does this point mean? So again, pause the video, see if you can figure out what this point means. OK, so if we look, the one represents the number of people and the 15 is the cost in dollars and the title of the graph is circus admission. So if I look, it's $15, one person for the circus. So we can say circus admission. Cost. $15. For one person or per person. So now we're going to talk about 7RP2D. So we specifically need to work on that 0, 0 and that 1, comma R or 1, comma K. So we have described three points from this graph. So we have taxi costs, distance, and miles. So first point I want to do is 0, 0. So what we can say about this point 0, 0. If my drawing wants to start working. If you go zero miles, so go zero miles. Ooh, what is happening with my pen? It costs zero dollars. So if you don't go anywhere in a taxi, you go zero miles, it's going to cost you zero dollars. Next point I want to talk about is this one, one comma three. So I'm also just going to put what point that was here and let's label this point with a different color. Here's one comma three. So that's for one mile. It costs three dollars. So if you go one mile. It costs three dollars and that's the point one comma three. And then you can pick any other point. So it says pick three points. I'm just going to pick this one up here, which is 721. So it's seven miles, $21. This next one is about the cost of frozen yogurt. This one I want you to do on your own. So pick three points. You have to at least do zero, zero and one R or one K. So you might have to find the unit rate to do this one. Same for exercise three. You're going to do this one on your own. If I look at that point for one comma K or one comma R, we can see that this is not a perfect point. So you're going to need to first calculate what that K is by picking another point and doing Y divided by X. Once you figure that out, we'll know what that point is and you can describe it. For your exit ticket, you just got to describe point F. So that 1 comma 5.25, what does it mean? The title of the graph is average speed of a towboat. We have distance and we have hours. So all this lesson is, is describing these points on a graph. I don't think we need a lot of help. If you need just something to reference, you can always go back and look at this first one I did with you. If you're having a hard time finding this unit rate, 
I would go back and look at the lesson on page 12 where we specifically learned about how to calculate unit rate from a graph.